Today we're going to be doing our Ramadan haul. If you haven't checked out our Ramadan series already, please go check those videos out. We went to a series, like loads of different places in the UK. And we basically went to H&M Home, B&M, um, TK Maxx ikea lows to go look for ramadan decor i know a lot of stuff have started to come out now so any of the stuff that i've accumulated from this video until ramadan obviously you'll just have to check out when we do um our ramadan decorating video but for now i'll just show you guys what i've gotten through the time of us doing the series but yeah let's get into the video oh also as well are you going to tell them Gone. There is a little surprise that we're going to mention, so stay tuned throughout the video because we don't know when we're going to mention it, so don't skip to the end, <laughs> don't skip to the middle, but there's a little surprise for all of you. Okay guys, so yeah, you heard what she said, so I don't want to ruin it, can I tell? No. Mm, I ain't going to tell you. Okay, but anyway, let's get into the video because we've got quite a few stuff. So, the first thing that I wanted to show you guys are these Primark pajamas. I know you're thinking, what has this got to do with Ramadan? But the reason why I got them is because they're a suit like such a lovely jersey fabric. And I got them because obviously in Ramadan, we don't have like any Ramadan PJs like you'd get like for Christmas or Easter or Mother's Day because you know they always come up with like a themed pajama set but we don't have any like Ramadan ones so I ended up getting these ones and I absolutely just love them they're super um soft and they're called boyfriend pajama set and I got them in extra large just because I like my things to be super loose and they were 15 pounds but yeah got them um also i got these these were in the reduced section if you guys are familiar with this then you'll know that they have them at um the white company um and they're sort of expensive but these ones i only got for five pounds as you can see and they are cinnamon and apple um star candles and i absolutely love them just because i feel like they're smart really nice and they're candles and yeah. she absolutely loves candles yeah i love candles so she told you first <laughs> at the end of the day um next i wanted to show you guys this this isn't something that is new but i wanted to show you guys um because we got it last year and it's a quran speaker you can connect it um to like bluetooth it lights up and it has like multiple um different colors as well it comes with a remote control you can play in arabic and you can also play in english so i feel like this is beautiful and this is from amazon as i said guys all of these things will be linked so if you're interested in this you'll see it in, linked in the bio next uh what else have i gotten next i've gotten two pillowcases from shein um these ones are so nice because they're kind of like geometric printed like moroccan style so yeah here they are and these are from shein and i think they ended up costing like two pounds i believe but yeah absolutely love them they're super nice i'll probably end up putting these on the sofa and what size does it say on the trim i want to say 50. yeah it's 50 by 50 but yeah guys absolutely love them so i got two of them for my sofa if again you're interested they'll be linked below they're this nice little linen fabric and then on here it's like this teddy um sort of fabric to make the piping but yeah guys absolutely stunning like get into it i just love the multiple stars in the star but yeah so that's those guys if i'm speaking a little bit quick it's just because we have so much to get to um next which i got are from ebay do you want to show them guys i absolutely love them <laughs> she, bought, she bought spoons what Literally, they're like wrong on spoons, and obviously, they have the crescent moon and the star there, and they're absolutely cute. Like, mm. I saw them and I just could not, like, what not are, get what them. Are these actually for? They're gonna be for tea. We have regular spoons. Yeah, but these are gonna be more Ramadan spoons. Guys, she doesn't get it. You need Ramadan spoons. So, she's gonna pack them away until next year. Yeah. Well, te technically, mm -hmm. I'll bring them up for Eve too. But yeah, guys. So I got the. How many did I get? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I should have got six. That's a bit odd. Okay, yeah. But anyway, love them. Super gold, and they're just adorable. And I'm gonna. I've got these just because I'm gonna put them on a little tea station that I'm gonna make because I love tea and I have digestion problems. Oh, almost dropped She's one. Breaking them all. 
yeah i have digestive problems so for that reason a girl always needs tea so i thought after iftar just to make sure my food circulating the way i need it to do i'm gonna use these in my tea but yeah i got these from ebay guys so yeah i tagged them below next what i got is this now i know you're thinking <laughs> what is it i basically i've gotten it from shein and it's this leather tissue box holder so basically you put the tissue box underneath and um yeah you can just pull the tissue out of this little section here and basically the reason why i got it is because i have a little cricket machine that allows me to do vinyl stickers and i'm literally just gonna put like alhamdulillah bismillah or home something in like arabic calligraphy along here and then it'll just look nice on the table along with all my other ramadan decor and again i will link this down below from sheen and it's this nice little leather um snake um sort of texture it's like snake skin texture i would say, I would say. Or, or is it Wait, like alligator sort of leather is from alligators so where did you get skin from? you know where did you get snake because from? snake scales it kind yeah, of looks like snake scales. Whatever, guys. But you know what I mean anyway. The texture's nice. It's leather. Um, next, I got this from Ikea. Again, guys, because I've got so much, I can't just, like, speak about all the stuff from one place because there's just too much to get through. So, I got this as well from Ikea. It's literally this wooden tray. And my sister's going to be cooking some food to put on there. I feel like it'd be nice, like, even if you're um, hosting people. Because, um, obviously, in Iftar, we host... Um, sorry, in Ramadan, for Iftar, we host a lot of people. So, um... It's got little handles. Exactly, that's what I feel like. It'd be so cute. So, you could either put tea on here and biscuits. Or, you could put, like, spaghetti bolognese here. But, like, in a bowl. And then, like, the garlic bread um, patterns around. Or, like curry or you could put, make it like a fruit platter so yeah i got this from ikea and guys absolutely huge as you can see you can't see my head <laughs> um, so yeah it's huge and it's called scala it's a scala scala in yeah ikea language so yeah again i'll link this down below next i also got this wooden tray and this was from home sense absolutely love it and i'm gonna put this in my kitchen and this was mainly for um my tea station as i showed you the um star and gold the star gold spoons so i got this from home sense and it was 12.99 and yeah guys absolutely love it because i'm gonna put jars on it and then obviously put my spoons and everything else like a little honey jar with a stick so yeah i got this i'm probably gonna paint this white though just because my um in my kitchen it's only black and white so this is not really the colour that I'd want. So that's something that I need to do with a DIY. Next, I also have this lantern. And oh. this is called English. Very First weird. of all, that's... What is it called English? First of all, that's, that's, the, that's the language, then. Because there's English and Dutch on the... Guys, I thought... You know how Ikea has funny names for things? I thought it was called English. She really said English. You know the little leaflet that comes inside with, with the details on it? Anyway, you guys know what I mean. Uh, to be fair, we do not have a name. It's just called Lantern for t <laughs> Okay. Oh my God, I just have a name. In room. In room. In room. In room. It's in room. In English. So she goes English. But either way, yeah, that's the name of it there but yeah it's a white little lantern you talk as much as i do in these videos and see if you're saying everything right mm. but yeah guys that's it and at the moment obviously i can't think it <laughs> technical difficulties but yeah there you go and it's super cute i got two of these i don't know how much it was but again i'll just link it down below and I absolutely love this i might put this on the kitchen table or my fireplace not too sure next i got uh, blah, blah, blah. again i got these glass cups just for the fact that i love them i feel like they're just aesthetically pleasing i love just clean glass like i do like ceramic but glasses my like go to and i got four of these also as well 
if you have watched Princess and the Frog and she's making <laughs> beignets and she spins the thing around and she's pissed with all the ice and sugar that's a Disney reference by the way <laughs> then you'll know what this is you put ice and sugar inside of it and then literally you just like press it and then put it all over and I got this just because obviously I love to bake and obviously this Ramadan in the vlogs inshallah I'm showing you guys a lot of my baking stuff and um, I thought <coughs> And this my is baking. Good... And her bacon. Good thing you don't have to eat it because that is unnecessary. Anyway, but yeah. I love it. It's so cute. And I love the chromeness on it because again, our kitchen's black, white, and silver. So yeah, it's cute. Got that. Next. I also got some candles. If you were on TikTok, then you would know that there was this trend going around um, from IKEA where they were putting like different level um, candles inside little glass jars. And I got these just because they are. Did you try to smell it? Yeah, it's unscented. <laughs> Um, I got these just because they're perfect addition to the living room to just give that cozy family warm vibe and this one was two pounds how much was that one trim one and yeah guys it's good value and it says that it burns for up to a hundred hours so it's worth it what's that one 40. 40 and I've got another one as well that's a medium one but yeah I just wanted to show you guys like the variety of sizes that I got and those um, are from Primark anything that's from Primark again because Primark doesn't have an online shopping site I can't actually link them um, I'll try to but obviously because you can't really shop on Primark there's only so much I can put up so certain things from Primark you're just gonna have to go to the shop and actually look for um, next I got this blanket again just another cozy warm addition to the living room i love these because similar to the cushions that i sold you from shein it's got like this little teddy um tread like going through um the blanket and also as well i love this little tassel detail and my sofa's white so i just feel like this is beautiful and neutral to go with my theme also i'm gonna have to lift it up because it'll stop me from bending that much next I got these from again I know it's in a Primark bag but it's just because it's a lot but this is from Ikea um obviously during Ramadan because we can't eat um throughout the day and things like that um I mainly got these for fruit just because throughout the day sometimes we like to snack fruit but we won't be able to so I want my fruit to be preserved for a lot longer and I saw on TikTok that if you had these more um airtight containers that it would stop your fruit from spoiling so i literally bought four of these just for like fruit um also anything else for the fruit but mainly fruit um next i got this candle and it is called another candle yeah I got it from Home Sense and it says meditate vegan soy wax blend lavender and sandalwood and it was £7.99 and god absolutely smells a dream this one you can smell <laughs> it does smell vegan what does vegan smell like not healthy <laughs> yeah health health <laughs> health is wealth but yeah i got this because again nice you put this in the living room bedroom or even a bathroom it's good to have like little relaxing baths during ramadan so if you're looking for a good candle home sense is always a way to go along with tk max and i do love my primark ones as well again i got these little diffusers you can hold those trim those are 80p and these are from primark guys they're absolutely a lovely addition and they are powerful like i've got some joe malone ones which are like 68 pounds or like 70 pounds but these are 80p and they're perfect to put in the corner of like your bedroom anywhere around the house really even in your hallway just so like any guests that you have coming through during ramadan it just gives like a nice smell to your home so yeah i got two of these for 80 pence next also as well from shein i got this and it's a little tea light um black metal moon or like crescent moon basically it's got a little star detail and again this is to go in my kitchen because again it's black and white and i'm just gonna put a tea light in it and it's super nice and it's sturdy as well like it doesn't feel like it's gonna break or anything and i feel like this was under two pounds and i'll also link it below next um do you want to talk about that one enough oh we've got a uh, manuka honey and goat's milk 
soap bar. Now, if, you, if you're familiar with my new honey, yeah? Mm -hmm. When it comes to making sure that you're healthy, and this is for your skin. Oh my, your skin's gonna be glowing. Glowing. And that, again, I got it just because during Ramadan, even though it's a time of rest, you as women as well, like you can, we can all relate. We're always so busy during Ramadan, like even though you think it's a time to relax, it's really not. Through the cooking, the up and down, and also as well, you're just tired and exhausted. I thought it looks super nice, and I just thought it's super affordable and it'd be nice for like a bath. It's got shea butter and Australian almond oil in it. So I'm saying, I feel like it's really nice for the skin. And how much was it? Two ninety nine. Again, guys, and that was from HomeSense. And also as well, guys, just like Primark, I can't link anything from HomeSense because HomeSense doesn't have an online website. So that's something you're just gonna have to go into the store and look for. But yeah, there's that one. Also as well, we have this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. It's falling apart. It's a calendar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, basically, it's a calendar. We got it from Shein, and it's got like two blocks next to it, as you can see. And it just like will say like the date. And I thought that that would be nice as well to go on my little shelf. However, it's not that long. stable, but like it's fine. Yeah, once it's on the shelf, it'll be stable, but because it's made out of blocks and the blocks are quite slippy because of what it's painted like, they're kind of just moving everywhere. And then as well, I got these from Ikea. I got four of these. And these are little ceramic, um, like, ramekins. And I got these mainly for, like, mac and cheese, shepherd's pies, even, like, mini lasagnas. I just thought they're so cute and adorable. And it's a great, like, little portion just to add to your main meal. Even just to put on a table to, like, fill with dates. And I just love, like, the edging along it. I feel like it's just super nice. So I ran to these straight away in Ikea. And again, I would try to leave these Hello. Never heard of a ramekin. It's a ramekin. Okay. It's a bowl. <laughs> it's a bowl. <laughs> Next, we have this. And guys, honestly, let me just open it up for you. It's super simple, but I just got it for the kitchen to put a long candle in there. And if you remember, what era would you say this is from? I want to say the 1800s. Yeah, 1800s then, and you'd literally see them put like a long, a long candle in there. You could just walk around with it. The 1900s. You can tell history isn't our strong point. <laughs> we're just looking the figure here. But yeah, so I got this again. Absolutely love it. I feel like Ramadan's all about like the warm and the cozy, so candles just add to that. So I got this, and this is from Shein. Next, I got from Primark this candle. And it's an unscented candle and it's just a cube style and literally guys it doesn't really burn the best um i think i got it for yeah one pound fifty it doesn't burn the best at all but i just love like the whole cube um aspect of it and again i just love candles so yeah i just just want to point out about this little cube this is probably the second time that she's bought this cube or maybe the third time that Low she's key, bought I think this it's cube the fourth time and she still hasn't learned her lesson about these cues. Okay? Yeah, they don't burn well. They do not burn well whatsoever. But I just love the look of it. She just buys oddly shaped candles and yeah, then wonders why it doesn't burn correctly. Next in here, obviously I can't show you because it's still in its packaging. But it's literally just a Rumble on Kareem banner. And it's in this little glitter detail. Not too sure if I'm going to use it. But I saw it on eBay and it was a pound. And I thought that's a bargain. So even if I don't use it, I'll gift it to somebody else to like decorate their home. But yeah, again, only a pound. And it was from eBay. Um, next, I got these brightening and deep puffing eye patches, and they're vitamin C. And I got them for one pound fifty. And there is, it says fifteen treatments. So I'm guessing there's fifteen in a pack, but that's a lot. But yeah, I got them for one pound fifty, and it was at Primark. And I got these just because during Ramadan, I don't really wear a lot of makeup, and I feel like it's the perfect time to like rejuvenate your skin, not clog your pores, and just take care of your skin. So I just thought give these a go and it says for dull and tired eyes which again i feel like is perfect because during ramadan you have a lot of sleepless nights your sleeping pan gets a bit messed up and you don't want to be walking around here with dark under eyes so yeah i thought let me get these so they were one pound fifty and then i got oh something is making a lot of noise in here oh next i got these little ramekins again and they're so cute they're these little bowls 
and that is what they look like and i got them for one pound each and i'm literally just gonna put um like tomato sauce or mayonnaise in it around iftar time and again as if you could not see that the theme this ramadan is neutral we had blue last year if you check out my tiktok which also will be linked down below blue was our theme last year but we're going more of a neutral this year uh, i'm hoping inshallah to be able to do like a different theme each year but at the same time it's not something i really have to do it's just something i like to do but yeah guys these are the little two bowls and these are from Primark as well. Okay, so we have this tree. <laughs> so it is, I'm gonna say it is a tree. Yeah, it's um, a tree. From eBay. Um, lights it, lights up. That's cute. If you don't, you know, handle it properly, it will poke an eye out. Yes, she almost did it, guys. Almost did, that's fine. But yeah, it's super nice because I feel like it is strong enough as well that you could hang, um, if you wanted to hang any ornaments or anything, kind of. If you wanted to leave it plain, it's completely up to you. I'll probably end up leaving it plain this year. But um, yeah, I got this from last year and it was 13 or 14 pounds. But yeah, it's just again lovely for your living room and you could just hang whatever you wanted to hang on and there. The branches are really like it's sturdy to be honest. Yeah, you can move it and manipulate it, it in yeah. whichever way you want to. So do you want to sell the next one? Yeah. Next we have this. It's a little light of little what can you call it? It's just like a little it's like a mosque imitation yeah. of a mask and it's so cute it's got the word um and ramadan on it and it lights up and i just want to say that i built this yeah she built it because it comes in parts and you can put batteries um inside of it because you might not be able to see it but there's like lights strings throughout of it so and then you just put your batteries in here and again guys it's super nice absolutely love like the cutout on this like it's stunning so yeah and how long did it take you to build it well, was it quick at first i built it wrong so okay. i will probably say like 30 minutes so <laughs> the next thing that we have here this is from ben harrod and it's a bakur um like what would you say bakur burner so basically <laughs> you put the coal in here obviously you put your bakur in here and then you put the lid on the lid is actually in the bag but yeah absolutely love this and it's gold i cannot wait to bet like to use it and like burn my bakur in there guys it is raining gold yeah everywhere yeah everywhere i don't know where it's coming from probably the bottom but yeah absolutely love this again super cute and yeah i love it can you tell i'm excited i can tell <laughs> we can all tell shut up trend <laughs> next from shein is this beautiful oh, little hand towel i got this because again i thought it'd be nice for the bathroom or the kitchen and it's literally just got a crescent moon with um three lang um lanterns hanging off at the bottom and yeah that's that again i'll tag this down below if you guys want to see anything more that's in shein if you go to my tiktok i'll try to remember to put that down below as well and you can see all of the things that shein has in stock this ramadan just because i did do a video on there so just in case if there's anything that i didn't buy but you like the look up you can check out that video um next from sheen also i've got this and i'm not gonna take them all out but what they are are cookie cutters and i'll try not to have to take them all out but yeah so that's a um a crescent moon shaped one um this is a camel shaped one here you go <laughs> Yeah, you won't be able to see it faintly, but yeah, there's a camel shaped one, and then you've got um also in there like a little Moroccan one and a star one as well. That came as a set and it was really good value, which I love. Um obviously I'm gonna be using these for two things. Um one I'm gonna be using them for app to actually make cookies with obviously and then the second one i'm going to be doing because i'm going to make my own little ornament um as i said showing you the previous tree that trinity was holding i'm gonna hang um little ceramic ornaments from there so i'm gonna make them myself as a diy if you guys want to see how i'm gonna make those ornaments again make sure you follow me on tips up because those that is the place where all of my diys are being posted so there's that next again from ebay are these little hanging um what would you say these are they're not ornaments because they're quite big uh, i don't know if you could hang these from the ceiling you could, you or could. put them on your wall or something you could i think you get some string 
Yeah, yeah you can hang them from your ceiling or something. Or um, possibly if you put a nail because they all come with this little hole there. I'm guessing you could put it on the wall if you wanted to, or like command strips. But we've got like a moon shaped one here. We've got a moon and a masjid one here. Um, what's that one? Star. Oh, star. Um, there's a lantern one here as well, and again another crescent moon as well. And they're very damage resistant. They don't really get damaged. Yeah, at all. At all. Okay, another Bukhur burner is from Shein. And again, it's this nice stone um, sort of material. It's got like Arabic calligraphy all around it. And then obviously you put your um, Bukhur here and then burn it. And yeah, guys, I love that. Like, I, can't, I might put this in my bedroom because as you can see from the back here, that our bedroom is like a neutral with some golds in there. So I might keep that in here here or put it in my living room which is also the same theme as the bedroom so yeah love them also i have these as well these i got from um was it what's it called home um oh hobby craft hobby craft yeah i got these from hobby craft and it's a hundred um actually i'm telling my no i didn't i got these from wilco's is it wilco because well, I can't remember the name. I think it was Wilco. The name's not on here, but I think it's Wilco. Yeah, I got them from Wilco. Yeah. How much Wilco. did I bet it was home base? No, it was Wilco. When did you go to Wilco? I got them ordered, I think. Because they were on offer. So basically, guys, obviously the Christmas stuff is still on offer, like clearance. So I got these 100 ice white LED battery lights. And I got these because I am creating... Actually, I don't think I should tell you, you know. Oh. Why? Yeah, anyway, yeah. you're gonna have to wait to see what I'm using these for. But yeah, I got these um, ice white LED battery lights and I think I got them for like two pounds in clearance and they're five meters and yeah, got those. Um, next, I got these two candles. Now guys, these candles are from last year and I still haven't burnt them and I think I got them for £2 each or £2.50 each and they're just like a star sort of thing and like last Ramadan I was meant to burn them but I just can't bring myself to burn them but I feel like I need to this year just because the gold is beginning to like chip away but um, I saw these again when I went to Primark recently which was like two or three weeks ago and they have them in there but they're on clearance so if you guys have a Primark near you then get these these again i might just display it on my table along with like one of my mean shapes and um, bakur burners and yeah so i got those also as well um i got this and because the theme is neutrals this year i had this pampas little grass um what do you call this who garland yeah. who reef probably yeah and it was six pounds and it's from bnm and yeah i love that oh guys i'm just breaking everything but yeah that's it it's getting everywhere honestly pampas get everywhere you have to hairspray pampas and then oh yeah guys as i was showing you earlier my record burner here it is there's the lid because <laughs> i found it and then here's the hood that i'm gonna burn and it's oud and alkunga I think that's what it said and it's 50 grams and I got these both from Ben Harrod so I can't wait to burn them I feel like that's just a must next I was sent in PR um, from this lovely company I think they're called looks yeah the looks and curl and they sent me some Ramadan personalized bits so the main thing that they sent me because they specialize in doing again put personalized items and they sent me this lovely it says Ramadan Mubarak on there and it says the Ali house on there and it's literally like just this little um, sign stand and I absolutely love it it's gold and it's got a little lantern here so again I'll link their company below they've also given me a discount code so if you guys would like to shop anything that you see here um, from this company then you can shop that and it's absolutely not and it's good quality as well I can't wait to put that out um next they sent me these are so gorgeous they're little tags now these tags you could hang on either a garland or you could hang on um like 
Eid gift bags and there's one oh, this one cute. says the Ali house one minute if you focus yeah there you go guys it says the Ali house on there they're like these little Mor Moroccan like is this like Moroccan print like shaped I think but I don't know yeah got those and then there's another one here that says Bismillah on there this absolutely love that and then this one says Ramadan on there and again guys like imagine putting some ribbon on these and then just hanging them from here it's gonna look so nice but again i'm already doing my own ornaments for that but i was so grateful to receive these and again i'll be linking these below so those are adorable my sister's trying to peel it off already there's a reason why i haven't peeled them yet. i thought there was um what's it called on it now i think they've, they've just peeled it to like stop the gold from scratching but like you can obviously peel it off afterwards um next next i got this now again guys as my sister said i love weird shapes i got this can someone please and explain? it was tarpa 99 from h and m <laughs> what are we supposed to actually do with this guys when she saw it she goes is this a plate for us to eat on is that like separating portions portion control no, Vegetables basically on guys, I actually love it. You know how I love my candles? I just feel like I could just like, or I could put it on the side of my bed for like jewelry and stuff. I feel like it's a good Ramadan why edition. Like, why couldn't you just get a regular circle like everybody else? Because I don't want a regular circle like everybody else. She doesn't even know what the shape is. It's just a blur, mm -hmm. like a blob, blur. Okay, next thing that I've got guys, this is a two set here. And again, this is from the reduced Christmas section. And it's literally, I don't know what you call this. I think it's like twine. I think it's twine. Um, I'm not too sure. But um, it was £10 from Primark and it's two stars. And you, they're literally just like ornaments that you can put next to each other. And it was £10 originally. And I got it on a reduced and it's £5. And again, guys, they still have reduced Christmas stuff in Primark. So if you're interested in finding any like... Um, obviously you don't want Christmas decor but things that could um, work in connection to Ramadan this is a perfect option and there's two of them and it's super sturdy like guys like if I whacked her she's feeling it why, but, okay but why are you <laughs> whacking me in the first place okay next from H&M home as well I got these pillowcases guys it was a bit expensive Compared to the ones that I got from Shein, which were like £2 or like £3 each, these, there's three in there and they were £17.99 and the size of them is again 50 by 50 so they're the same size as the ones I just showed you but um, to be honest these seems a bit bigger but they do say 50 by 50 but yeah i love them nonetheless they're um this is the fabric of them again you've got like this i think it's called burlap so it's sort of like a burlap um sort of material and you've got the white stripes in there mixed with the burlap like a natural sort of and then you've got like a complete burlap one at the back and then again you've got like a tweed sort of stitch one in the middle and i got three of these and again this is just to go on the sofas so i got them next at H&M home I got these glasses let me take one out and they're little goblet glasses and I believe they've got like a little silver rim along them and that's them I got four of these and they were £7.99 so yeah for a cup I know guys she was mad when I showed her she was like are you taking the mix you got them for £7.99 are you silly Basically. but god I look I love them. I do love them. We have also does. Good. <laughs> God, <laughs> she was eating. On our little break, she was eating. So next thing that I got were from H and M. Um, sorry guys, not H and M. Too many names. Home bargains. Again, I can't link these below because home bargains don't actually have a website. They just have like um obviously in store. And there are these little star bowls. I got two of them. These are just for either sahur, like I can put snacks in it next to me and my partner's bed or me and my sister, whoever wants snacks, or when we're just watching a movie after iftar. So I got two of them. They didn't have any more, which is a bit annoying, but um I saw in another person's video that there was lows in the shop. So just look around the home bargains, but I got those. 
um i also got just like i showed you those pillowcases from h&m home i got six of these from um ikea and they're like a linen sort of fabric again 50 by 50 and again as i said i put six, six of these and then i got three of the h&m home ones and then two of the sheen ones because my sofa's quite big um i feel like even when i start to decorate that i'm gonna feel like i need more because the sofa is like a large l-shaped sofa so inshallah it's enough but yeah <laughs> girly girly um next what else did i get next i got this frame and it's from shein and i like it just because it's got paper in it right now like just saying keep keep life simple i'm gonna put like an islamic quote in there and just put it in my kitchen on my shelf so i thought this would be a lovely addition again i'll link it down below these are simple things that if you don't want to spend too much but you want to add like some sort of ramadan decoration you can just get it and put whatever you want on the inside and i feel like that's a great addition something simple again keep life simple so there's that next i have oh, Guys, it is stuck in a bag. Next, I have this, and I know you're thinking, what does this have to do with Ramadan? It actually has nothing to do with it. <laughs> um, I just got it because I wanted my bathroom to be super cozy during Ramadan, and I feel like when you step out of the bath, you just feel like a nice little teddy fabric underneath your toesies. I feel like it just adds to you just feeling zen and just peaceful. So yeah, I got these and I got two of them. I'm super happy about it. And lastly, 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 I got some other stuff. Oh, one moment, one moment, I can see. Next guys, um, this is the last thing that I wanted to show you. I got like a little Ramadan dinner set. I have quite a few dinner sets, but the issues with those, um, I've got like a silver one and a gold one, but they're not microwave safe. And obviously I want to be able to like reheat food that I cook like in the day um, for like iftar and so forth. So I got these and it comes with um, a plate, side plate, and also a bowl. And there you go. I got these from Asta and it was £40 and I absolutely love it again keeping it with my theme which is neutral along with the black and the white and um, obviously like some beige tones and this is called Chelsea and it's a 12 piece porcelain dinner set I feel like you can't go wrong with a dinner set for Ramadan just because in Ramadan really you just sit down to eat with family and for like a good dinner set just adds that vibe and like a special thing because I'm not going to use this dinner set until it's Ramadan like each year so in that way I want to build like a tradition in my home that every time you see that dinner set you know it's Ramadan so yeah guys that's the last bit um anything else obviously i have way more stuff but i don't want to show you guys everything because i'm going to be doing a ramadan home decor video that has all of like the big more glitzy glammy sort of things so make sure that you do not miss that video that will be coming after my cleaning video because i'm going to be doing um putting out a ramadan clean the home sort of video with me and then after that i'll be decorating so make sure you are subscribed and welcome all my new subscribers we are so super grateful and yeah we appreciate it alhamdulillah like your like effort to watch our videos does not go unnoticed again i like to say anything that you see in this video or in any of the videos previous you are under no pressure to buy anything that you see in the videos i know it is a hard time around the world i know that obviously we're dealing with the cost of living i know that a lot of people as well since the earthquakes that happened as well like a lot of people are putting money into other things so do not feel pressured to follow or do anything that i'm doing in this video literally just do what you can afford and always remember Ramadan is a very sacred month. Yeah. It's, it's a not time about, about your stuff. deen. It's a time with your family. Mm -hmm. So all this stuff is just to make you feel more in the Ramadan spirit. More but it's not, a vibe. it's not a necessity. If you want to brighten up your home a little bit during the special month, by all means, get decoration. Get it all if you want. 
but you actually do not have to but if you're you know kind of extra a little bit with my sister oh. almost then you plates, can. guys mm. yeah i'm extra as can be yeah. <laughs> yeah and lastly guys the big thing that you've been waiting for as i mentioned in the beginning we have a surprise for you we are doing a joe malone giveaway loki <laughs> we're doing a joe malone giveaway and in here there's a few little goodies for you guys that are compiled that are some of my favorites and i'm doing this as a pre ramadan giveaway this will be posted up on my Instagram and all the terms and conditions on how to win this will also be put in the little Instagram description section and yeah guys we're doing this because we want to say a big thank you obviously my husband is not in this video because he's helping his family at the minute they're doing a lot of stuff at his mom's home so that's why he's not in this video but he's doing this and i'm doing this and so is my sister doing this as a big thank you to our subscribers also as well our tiktok followers and we're going to be doing another giveaway but this giveaway the second giveaway is going to be in ramadan so you're just gonna have to wait for that we're gonna do be doing a lot of giving back because we want to show how much we appreciate you guys so yeah guys if you would like to enter this joe malone giveaway please 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 make sure you go over to the instagram because that's the only way you're going to find out on how to enter so you don't want to miss out and yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video we appreciate you we appreciate if you've gotten all the way to the end because we know this was a long video and we just want to say thank you and we enjoyed having you yeah and inshallah we all reach the blessed month of ramadan because we cannot take it for granted that we will so inshallah we all get to share this blessed month and yeah guys look forward to seeing you guys in another video make sure you subscribe make sure you go follow us on instagram and tiktok and take care bye guys